the early test results for Ashurbanipal are finally here and the results are looking unbelievable archer rallies might just become unstoppable in rise of kingdoms so today we're going to go over dozens of rally results for Ashurbanipal so you guys have an idea as to just how powerful he might be when he first drops in rise of kingdoms but first what's going on guys cheers first let's go over the parameters with which we're using to test the effectiveness of the Ashurbanipal rallies and this is the point in the video where I'm going to remind you guys that Ashurbanipal is not in the game yet so we have to use the rock battle simulator to get some early test results and the reason that I actually waited a few days before making this video is because when Ashurbanipal was first implemented into the simulator he wasn't working exactly as we might expect so here you can see I'm using version 2.319 this is the latest version of the simulator so if you have anything older than that delete it throw it in the garbage and download the latest one and if you guys want to use the rock battle simulator of course there will be a link in the description below I'm not sponsored by them not affiliated with them in any way it's just a very helpful tool and I will remind you once again that it is always important to wait before you invest in a commander until they actually come in the game so we can see some real in-game results I can't believe I have to say that every video and yet there's still going to be somebody who comments down below uh Omniarch, excuse me uh these are actually just test results some of y'all are unbearable bro anyway let's jump into what we're actually testing here you can see that we selected the rally and garrison options in the simulator and we've changed it to the combat with reinforcements what this does is it simulates somebody reinforcing the rally and the garrison and we've also turned on the season of conquest mode you can see here that the true capacity is set to 2 million we have ottoman versus france and one thing that i did here was i gave Gave both sides 10% in all stats because I think that if you're a whale you'll probably have at least that much from your armaments I also gave both sides a 10% health rune and for the infantry side for the garrison I gave them a 5% infantry health skin of course whales probably have a 10 or 15 percent infantry health skin but it is what it is here we gave the five percent skill damage skin to the uh, rally because the amount of skill damage coming out of ashurbanipal and just archer rallies in general is insane they both have a 10 percent defense token with full iconics for everything we have maximum tech and max vip level these are the uh, talent builds that we're looking at here you should be able to see the talent builds in the test results if i'm not mistaken uh, we have the kvk helmet and weapon on both pieces here we have pretty much best and slot everything else and we have of course the horn and ring on both of them you could make the argument for changing the accessories on gorgo i just wanted to keep it even on both sides just to get like a general idea of how these are performing now let's jump right into the results here and one of the cool things about the rock battle simulator is that it actually calculates total damage okay so you can see the total amount of damage that was put out by both sides of this rally and in this instance we're testing ashurbanipal primary first and this is the talent build that i went with and one thing that you're going to discover throughout this video is that anytime that I use the conquering tree the rally tended to do worse and I'm going to explain my theory as to why that might be I actually talked to Speco the person who developed the simulator and he did point out a couple of really interesting things about the archer tree that synergize really well with Ashurbanipal so that being said this is the first test result here and this is I'm gonna be honest with you one of the uh worst results that we've gotten okay so here you can see clearly a win for the uh rally Ashurbanipal Henry okay and the reason that I wanted to just to be clear I wanted to test Ashurbanipal primary first because I suspected that the skill tree would be really great for rallies because the amount of skill damage that we're doing here is insane turns out that's probably not going to be the case but stay tuned till later and I'll explain why but you can see 1.8 million sev wounds for the rally 2 million sev wounds for the garrison and you could see the remaining troops on both sides the other thing you're going to be able to see here is that it goes to turn 600 every single time that's because basically both sides get reinforcements for 10 minutes straight okay if the rallies lasted longer it i think that it would go more and more favor in the rally let's move on to the next one and here you could see we basically ran the same test again we have the gorgo and liu che as the garrison you could look at the total damage difference and here we could see 1.6 million sev wounds for the rally 1.9 million sev wounds for the garrison so still basically a 1.2 to 1 trade ratio which is really really nice next report here same thing ashurbanipal with henry against gorgo liu che we see slightly worse result 1.8 million sev wounds to 2 million sev wounds on the garrison and let me just point out here that the reason that i'm running so many of the same test again is because the expertise on ashurbanipal just as a reminder is complete rng okay there's a one in five chance of getting any of these single 
singular buffs here which is insane so there's going to be a little bit of variation between all these different results okay moving on we have another one ashurbana paul henry versus gorgo liu che and you could see again very similar results actually as the last one 1.8 million sub wounds to 2 million sub wounds on the garrison side here we ran the test once again and here we see this actually worked out better for the rally uh, we got a 1.21 trade with the 1.8 million to 2.2 million on the garrison side of course there's also the ring of doom and the horn of fury on both of these so again lots of rng there next we actually changed the garrison to gorgo with constantine and here you can see that it trades even better okay 1.42 to one on the garrison side 1.3 million sev wounds to 1.9 million sev wounds for the garrison so the garrison taking about the same amount of sev wounds as with the liu che but the rally taking much less damage so that's really interesting stuff here we ran the same test again 1.33 to 1 and this is 1.4 million to 1.8 million almost 1.9 million over there we ran the test again 1.52 to 1 one and a half to one trade guys that is really that is that's disgusting okay and I also just want to take this moment to point out that uh, the reason that these reports don't show deads is because the number of deads that you get changes depending on whether it's a flag or a fort or if you're in home kingdom or if it's a pass or which pass it is right so the dead calculation changes quite a bit so you can assume i mean you could do the math right if you know like what pass you would theoretically test this on you could do the math with the sub wounds here if you really are curious so yeah really uh interesting stuff here here we tested it again 1.46 to 1 we have 1.3 million sub wounds to 1.955 here we actually swapped out the constantine for a zenobia just out of curiosity and we have 1.34 to 1 as far as the trades go we have 1.6 million sev wounds for the uh, rally and 2.2 million sev wounds for the garrison so definitely not looking too great there so far the gorgo liu che seems to be the best even if it did trade similarly at least the rally is taking more damage from the liu che next we we're going to come back to zenobia later but we did swap out for uh heraclius and here it's 1.36 to 1 you could see 1.5 million on the sev wounds for the rally 1.1 million sev wounds for the garrison we ran that test once again we have 1.45 to 1 1.5 million sev wounds for the rally 2.3 million sev wounds for the garrison so the rally is taking more sev wounds than like up against constantine for example that just makes sense rockley is actually dealing damage which makes sense but still not a great trade for the garrison here okay here we have 1.7 million to 2 million so that was a little bit better in favor of the garrison garrison still does lose here and now we've changed things up okay um i actually swapped out the henry for a herman and this is disgusting okay 1.6 to 1 we have 1.7 million sub wounds up against 2.7 million sub wounds so here you could see the herman is a little bit more squishy but he deals way more damage which is really it's it's actually nuts i swapped out the garrison back to gorgo with liu che and here we see 1.8 million for the uh, rally 2.97 million for the garrison so 1.64 to 1 absolutely disgusting trades here we run that test again same result 1.64 to 1 we have 1.7 million sev wounds for the rally 2.9 million sev wounds for the garrison so so far we can see that herman is uh, a damage machine and i'm going to talk later why i think that that is happening and what the case is but now let's go ahead and test some rallies where ashurbanipal is the secondary and this is probably going to be the way that people run him ashurbanipal secondary seems to perform better for some reason and I guess I mean we, we kind of know why we'll talk about it later but the support tree is just really good for Ashurbanipal rallies okay who would have thought let's go ahead and take a look at these results Henry primary 1.73 to one up against the gorgo constantine oh my god okay 1.2 million sev wounds to the 2.1 million oh my god disgusting again 1.74 to one this is getting absolutely melted okay we have 1.2 million to 2.1 million again next we go up against a gorgo with zenobia a little bit lower on the trade area here so henry ashurbanipal still doing really well 1.5 million to 2.5 million of course i will point out once again the talent build that we're using here for henry that is important moving on we have 1.7 to 1 zenobia basically you know dealing a little bit more damage than the constantine 
but also taking more damage as well which oof, man that is not looking great i mean like it is what it is guys the Zenobia is just getting destroyed and one of the things that people were thinking was like oh well maybe you would run Ashurbanipal with Gilgamesh to specifically counter Zenobia but honestly I don't think they're gonna have any problems countering Zenobia regardless I think it's just gonna get destroyed okay so yeah looking really rough now here we see a slightly better report for the garrison still loses 1.43 to 1 that is with the Heraclius uh secondary 1.6 million sev wounds to the 2.3 million we run that just again and it's 1.65 to 1 so you could see the variations uh here probably have to do with a lot of different things but also the expertise on Ashurbanipal is very RNG heavy here we could see 1.4 million to 2.4 million uh 1.65 to 1 trade run that test again 1.6 to 1 trade again 1.4 million to 2.4 million now here we run an interesting test Ashurbanipal primary with Juge Leong secondary I was just curious right like we do see Henry with Juge Leong like maybe we just swap out the Henry uh the skill tree here is insane I figured maybe that would be great as it turns out not that good I mean this is a 1.08 to 1 up against the Gorgo Liu Che so you know that like the Gorgo Liu Che was getting clapped basically all video and here we could see that it's really not trading crazy here 1.7 million to 1.8 million right and again if you take deads into account depending on what you're rallying like I mean this would be a fine garrison against Ashurbanipal Yu Ye Leong right so we see a little couple problems here okay and we'll go over that later you can again see the the talent builds here after I got this result I was like okay this is this even if there is RNG like there's no point in testing this more because we've seen such incredible results from other things so here we see Herman Prime primary Osher Bonapal secondary you can look at the talent build and boys this might be the rally that we use now here's the thing let me say one thing of course the Henry with Ashurbanipal Bonapal did also perform extremely well and Henry is harder to swarm than Herman Prime the thing with this rally there's really no uh, you know anti-swarm built in okay so this is like a glass cannon you have to control the field you have to control the whole way to the to the garrison okay but if you can then this is a disgusting rally okay 1.89 to 1 boys 1.6 million to 3 oh my god rest in peace gorgo oh my goodness 1.84 to 1 again these tests are incredible okay absolutely ridiculous you can see 1.7 million to 3.1 bro oh my god now here we change out the the garrison we swap out the luce for the constantine and that's gg i mean 2.37 like this is just unbelievable i mean there is just no way to stop the herman ashurbanipal 1.2 million to 2.8 bro oh my god herman's not even a rally commander he has the versatility tree bro and we're gonna talk about that later but oh my god 2.3 to 1 1.2 million to 2.9 boys okay so i swapped out for a cav garrison because i was like surely we would see a better performance out of the cab get like everything is just getting destroyed we saw that earlier when, when you swap the constantine for zenobia it doesn't really perform much better but, and in some cases it performs worse so here i was like okay well let's just go for the calves right calves counter archers 1.77 to 1 i mean it's just it's open and shut like Jan Ziska gets destroyed now now let me point this one thing out okay the thing about Jan Ziska is we don't know for sure if Jan Ziska's third skill will remove the stacks from ashurbanipal's fourth skill okay we're gonna go over this fourth skill a little bit later but basically there's a 50 percent chance to gain a three percent skill damage bonus for 10 seconds whenever you're dealing direct damage and of course Yanziska's third skill has a 50 percent chance to dispel all normal buffs from the attacker with an eight second cooldown and this includes attack defense health healing received etc I want to know what the etc is okay Lilith if you're watching um tell me everything that this removes that's important does this remove stacks of bonus skill damage I don't know the way that it's coded in the simulator is that it does not okay so that's important uh it, it, the way that the simulator is coded is that the third skill on, on Yanziska does not remove the stacks from Ashurbanipal's uh fourth skill just to be clear but even if it does I'm not convinced that it would really move the needle here 
to be honest with you guys next i swapped out uh i just threw in yadviga just to see what happens 1.58 to 1 actually performed better than the heraclius okay the rally took the same amount of sev wounds but they took fewer sev wounds for the garrison so there it is i guess if you want to consider that in my current kvk i don't really see yan Siska, to be honest with you so yeah next we did henry with ashurbanipal up against uh gorgo liu J. 1.46 to 1 trade here you could see the talent build down there 1.6 million to 2.4 million next we did that again 1.47 to 1 1.6 million sev wounds to 2.4 million next we swapped out the liu che for constantine and that just did not go well 1.87 to 1 trades here 1.1 million to 2.1 million oh my god dude and that's it that was all the reports that i recorded now let's go over what some of the best results were and i think clearly Henry as the primary was a star and the best reports actually came from Herman prime primary, which was pretty shocking. Now, again, I already mentioned, obviously Herman prime is going to be very squishy. Okay. So, you know, that's going to get swarmed down if you can't control the field, but Henry is definitely, I mean, we, we use Henry right now. Okay. So both of those are really solid choices. And I want to explain kind of why I think that those choices worked really well and why Ashurbanipal as the primary actually performed worse. First of all, the stacks on the fourth skill for Ashurbanipal are, as it turns out, really important. And that's not that big of a surprise. Why? Because it gives you up to 30% bonus skill damage, which is very good. Now here you can see that whenever you're dealing direct damage, you have a 50% chance of gaining a stack and it refreshes the duration whenever you gain another stack. So if you go 10 seconds without getting a stack here, then you lose all 30% and you have to build it up again. And so what's really important is that, you know, if, if you get a really unlucky, you know, your primary casts the active skill, you lose the 50, 50, your secondary cast, the active skill, you lose the 50, 50 again. If you lose that 50, 50 for a second skill cycle, you could lose your, th your 30% bonus skill damage, right? And you want to keep this up all the time. So you have to maximize the number of chances that you get to win this 50, 50, because all you have to do is win it once. And that buys you another 10 seconds of 30% bonus skill damage. Okay. And this is actually why the support tree works better than the skill tree from what I can see. Now, the reason that I thought the skill tree would be, would be a slam dunk is because first of all, you get rejuvenate, you have a rage engine, you also get clarity and you also get the bonus to skill damage on tactical mastery, right? You don't typically come up with feral nature or the rallies, but you know, you get some nice bonuses to skill damage. And I just thought that would make a lot of sense. Okay. You obviously have buckle your shield. You can grab a venomous sting and the synergy there I thought would be good. But the reason that the Henry and also the Herman, because remember Herman has the support tree as well. The reason that they work so well is because first of all, the rejuvenate here is more powerful, which gives you a better rage engine. And remember popping your active skills to win the 50, 50 is very important for Asher Bonapal. So having more rage is better. Also, I was a little concerned about the bottom part of the support tree. Cause like this isn't going to do anything when it comes to going up against the Gorgo Liu Che, but you actually don't have to go into the bottom of the uh, support tree at all. And you can come all the way to the top of the archer tree and do really well there. And why is that? Well, Phoenix tail arrows has a 10% chance to deal direct damage to the target. Now we'll have to test this in game to see if this is true, but in theory, based on how the skill is actually worded, it says whenever you deal direct damage okay just any direct damage you should be getting a stack of skill damage and getting phoenix tail arrows with only a three second cooldown this gives you an additional way to deal direct damage and refresh your stacks on ashurbanipal this can bridge the gap between your skill cycles and it could mean the difference between keeping your 30 percent bonus skill damage and not so two things first of all faster rage engine means more skill shots and second phoenix tail arrows gives you an additional chance for keeping that those stacks up those two things combined mean that you pretty much always will have your 30 percent bonus skill damage and that is really important for ashurbanipal and that's why that constant skill damage bonus uh, seems to be performing better than the full skill tree and since that combination works so well you're not really relying on the conquering tree at all here to deal the most amount of damage which is why we saw the herman prime primary still performs really well and in fact performs even better than henry because of a few things first of all the poison stacks right now we know and we discussed this in the herman prime video by the way herman prime was 
there was a couple of errors in his coding for the simulator in my previous video i pinned a comment on it so you know it is what it is it wasn't that big of a difference but he should be performing better in this simulator now however uh, one of the things that we pointed out in that video that hasn't changed is that if you only have herman prime in your army and no tamiris then you're going to be stacking your poison slowly which is a problem for open field fighting but for a rally scenario it actually doesn't matter that much because a majority of your damage here is not coming from the double procs of Herman Prime's active skill. That's nice. And it does give you an additional way to get to win the 50 50 for Ashurbanipal's fourth skill, which we talked about before, which is great. But the fact that Herman Prime does not remove his poison stacks means that yes, he builds it up slowly, but once it's there, it's there forever. The other important part about the poison stacks never being removed is that you're taking 15% less damage always with the fourth skill here on Herman prime. And also there's a chance for damage factor, right? Which is another 50, 50 that you can get with the fourth skill on Ashurbanipal. So yet another way to keep those stacks on him. And this is really a perfect storm. You have in total, you have 50% skill damage from Ashurbanipal himself, right? On his skills, the 30 from the stacks, which you're almost always going to have with Herman. And then the 20 that he gets on, I think on his third skill here, Conquer Realm, 20% skill damage. And then Herman Prime has 70% skill damage, right? Cause he gets the 50% from Ashurbanipal plus the 20% for his AOEs, which is unbelievable. So you're dealing an insane amount of skill damage to a target that is taking 45% extra skill damage from the, the fact that they always are poisoned forever, right? Which is just unbelievable. So if you can completely control the field and sort of guarantee that your Herman and Ashurbanipal aren't going to be swarmed down, then that rally is basically unstoppable. I mean, the, the synergy there is really unbelievable for long-term fights. Okay. Again, open field, it's going to be a little bit tough because you, you stack the poison so slow, but, um, if you can't protect the rally as good as you would want, then it looks like the Henry primary with Ashurbanipal secondary is going to be the new way to melt everything Gorgo related. Okay. And also you saw that it worked well against Jan Ziska as well. I didn't test against Dito. I do see Dito a lot, but I just don't see anything in her kit that would suggest that she would be able to resist the Henry Ashurbanipal. So yeah, really crazy results here out of him as a rally commander. I haven't tested him in the open field yet. I, I suspect that he's going to be something similar to Tarek, where those people who are going to use him for rallies are going to use him in the open field. I think he pumps out a ton of damage, right? 2,500 single target plus the AOE insane, but I don't know if he's necessarily going to be a must have for open field fighting for people who aren't doing the rallies. Again, I'm not saying he's bad. I think it's kit, his kit's great. It's just, is he a must have for non-rally leads? probably not anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments section below about the results for ashurbanipal it looks like he is potentially going to be unstoppable it looks kind of crazy while you're down there drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it and consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace